this is gonna change the whole game for you want to build I really want to customize my own sim if you are a brand new sims 4 player here are some tips that I want to share with you if you don't know what mod stands for those are basically some things that really make your gameplay a lot more enjoyable if you're not using mods in CC this window won't pop up right after startup but first things first if your game is laggy you can go to game options play around with your settings you can set your quality to either medium or you can keep some of them on high while also having some on medium depending on what you are going for if you really want to have like high definition on your sims i totally get you i would do the same but if you don't care a lot about reflections you can obviously set them to low or to even medium these two boxes those do tend to affect your gameplay quite a lot those will usually make your gameplay a bit laggy if you can disable those and then apply changes that would be great you know best how your computer runs you can try to adjust different things apply changes and then restart your game you can play and see if things have gotten better or not you can see how long it takes for that loading screen to be fully loaded but if your gameplay is still laggy i do have a whole playlist about how you can make your game a lot faster a lot smoother right over here we're gonna talk mods in cc okay so if you do have mods in cc you can very easily see them right over here in this list by all means do keep your mods updated at all times like if you happen to see that you know that your e app i'm currently offline but you get the idea that your e app is telling you that your game is currently updating first thing that you need to do with your game completely closed is to rename your mods folder into mods old i cannot name it like that i'm just gonna put double d because the current mods that you have right now will become outdated because you're updating your game and you still have those files that have been compatible with the last version of your game and now you do have a new one and so you need to reset your mods folder every single time an update comes out obviously you can just remove your mods but it's way safer to like reset it download your mods put your brand new mods if you do have have some cc you can basically copy and paste them from your mods old folder but do make sure that you don't use any outdated mods and i do have like a lots of videos that talk about this issue number three i know i didn't mention like numbers but this is the third one want to build do make sure to press this little button which says camera controls and switch to the sims 3 camera by the way if you don't know after updating your game your camera controls will be defaulted to the sims 4 camera so you want to make sure to make the switch Ooh, tramway Ooh, look at it okay so see how smooth it is i'm currently using the mouse wheel you can press the wheel and do this or you can just zoom in and zoom out if you do scroll the sims 4 doesn't really quite give you that angles you can really adjust the angles very easily and it's like way easier with this one by the way if you're curious you can change your camera in build mode as well hotkeys if you don't know what hotkeys are those are basically shortcuts to some settings in your game so let's just say for instance in build mode if you do press b you can very easily begin to like build a room or something esc or s to the select your tool you can press k to select the sledgehammer to delete any walls you can press ctrl z to undo your actions you can press r the design tool let's just say you place a counter you can put it onto your lot select it and then select the r key to actually see all the swatches right back into live mode one specific hotkey that helps me a lot is actually one two three can you see normal speed fast feed ultra speed and zero to pause your game also ask to access the menu to either like go into your game options or to like exit to main menu or to exit your game or to actually like save your game because it's really important by the way in the sims 4 it's really important to save your game very very often because it might crash from time to time maybe your power just goes off out of a sudden so it's really nice to like save as often as you can because we don't want to lose any progress right if you do find yourself in that case where your game doesn't respond at all if it's laggy or if it does not work resetting your mouse folder might be the way to go 
or you can also reset your electronic cards folder so i have a lot of videos talking about that i'm not gonna you know just go in depth over here it's usually a mod or a corrupted save file that causes this to happen don't worry don't panic everything will be okay just back up your files and you will be okay and by backing up your files i'm specifically talking about your saves your tray your screenshots and your mods folder those are the crucial ones those do contain all of your files all of your families all of your saves all that good jazz another one is accessing gallery if you don't know you do have the ability to share your creations to the gallery or to save your build to your library those builds that are saved in your library won't be automatically you know uploaded onto the gallery you actually have to share it yourself so that others can see your creations or so that in case you lose your files you can very easily go online access your gallery and download it from there i really want to customize my own sim okay basically let's just say you are in the process of creating your sim and your power goes off you don't want to lose it you can basically press this little button do not forget to give your sim a name press this little button give them some random traits for now and then click this button because this is life-changing and save it to your library this is gonna change the whole game for you because if something happens whilst you are creating your sim you are good to go because you can very easily go inside your library and you do have that sim safe and sound you can place it you know replace it okay you can very easily select different channels challenges and you can apply it to a new family to an existing one or to a new household and new save i wish you the greatest time gaming and i will see you very very soon you stay.